Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Walt here from Down the Block Sports, and today I want to talk about the NBA draft. The Orlando Magic have the number one overall pick. They have made their selection. What I want to talk about today is who they picked and if they made the right selection with the number one overall pick. Again, I'm Alec Walt. This is Down the Block Sports. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more of my exclusive content. Yes, the Orlando Magic had the number one overall pick in the draft. They have selected Paolo Bancaro the forward center prospect out of Duke. Um, obviously, this is a surprise here at the number one overall selection. Many had penciled in Jabari Smith out of Auburn to go to the Orlando Magic, but Woj tweeted there was a lot of momentum for Van Caro today heading into the number one overall pick, and that's exactly the pick the Magic made number one overall. Now, obviously, when you're the Magic, you're trying to improve at that four position. They're a team that's young. It's a team that's had some success in the draft and with a couple trades lately to acquire some young talent to the organization. But all signs were pointing towards going for that number four spot. Obviously, Jabari Smith's the more athletic forward, someone who is a better three-point shooter. Van Van Caro, obviously the upside for Van Caro is he is a great passer for someone who is a big man, also has the versatility and a small ball lineup to move to the five. Again, his recommended position is recommended position is probably going to be the four in the NBA, but he's 250 pounds. He's 19. You know he's going to add more weight to him. I mean, Van, Van Caro is a great prospect coming out of Duke University, and he's going to provide a lot of impact for the Orlando Magic playing that four spot. Again, he doesn't have the three-point shooting upside. The Magic are not a great three-point shooting team, which is really why I thought they were going Jabari Smith with the number one overall pick. But, you know, they went with Van Caro, and he's going to be someone you can trust to start on day one. I mean, he was one of the safer picks in this draft. He may not have the upside of a Jabari Smith, but... At the end of the day, the Magic still did take home one of the best prospects in this draft. Now, the question here really is, did the Orlando Magic make the right draft pick? Now, obviously, in today's NBA, you need to be a quality three-point shooting team if you want to be successful. And you look at Jabari Smith, he has a much greater three-point shooting upside. He shot at a higher percentage in college than Ben Caro and obviously made more three-point shots when he played for Auburn University. Now, um, when you look at uh, Jabari Smith, he is athletic. He is someone who can defend multiple positions. He's someone who can make three-point shots. He's someone who fits the mold of a perfect four in today's NBA. That doesn't mean Ben Carroll can't. And obviously, when you go in small ball lineups, you have no one on the court, most likely, who's going to be a free-throw shooting liability. You know, having some of those upsides and you know we've seen lineups where the team that just won the nba finals had someone that plays small at the center position who also has some high upside playmaking abilities you know you got to think if you're the orlando magic that's something you're going to plan on doing down the road with van caro now in your organization but hey i like the pick i think van caro is a great prospect i don't think they made the right pick because i think jabari smith was perfect for what the Magic needed, but they have a very high upside 4-5 player. They have someone who can play on day one, physically keep up with the NBA on day one, and if he can add to that 6'9", 250 or so pound frame and improve his playmaking position, playmaking abilities, hopefully improve his three-point shot, the Magic got themselves a star. But did they make the right pick? I still would have gone Jabari Smith if I was in the position of general manager. Of course, they're much smarter than I am. But uh, at the end of the day, the Magic are taking home a really good prospect and someone who should make an impact on day one. What do you think of this selection for Paolo Bancaro, number one overall? Feel free to give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more of my exclusive content. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in, and we will see you very soon.